Ramen Japan. This time we head to Fukushima. Here we come across two trend setting ramen variations that took the nation by storm Kitakata and Shirakawa ramen. Welcome to Japan, the land of ramen. Alongside Hakata and its tonkots, and Sapporo, with its miso ramen, another town synonymous with ramen is found right here in Fukushima. Just 50 kilometers southwest of the prefectural capital, the city of Kitakata, a quiet town home to around 40,000 residents. It's Sunday morning, and there's already a long line at this local ramen shop. As soon as they open at 7, customers from all over the country are eager for a taste. It's now Monday, and just like the day before, the customers line up early. The same on Tuesday. Ramen in the morning, Kitakata style. There are now around 90 ramen shops in Kitakata. The shop owners join together to create the Kitakata Ramen Association. At this member shop, we find out what makes their ramen so special. The soup stock is made with pork and chicken bones, pork back fat, dried anchovies and vegetables. Most distinctive are the curly, thick noodles. Founded in 1966, this noodle maker supplies over half the ramen shops in the city. But in addition to the curling done by the machines, this factory takes it a step further. They are finished by hand. Each ball of noodles is needed to add curl, creating irregularities impossible with a machine. Tanaka Kiyoko is one of the workers. The strength required also changes with the weather. This is Kitakata's first ever ramen shop. This is where the noodles got their curl. The one who started it all, Ban Kinsei. In 1925, he left China on his own in search of employment. Just 19, he started selling the noodle dishes of his home country in order to survive in his adopted home. So they combined well with the soup. He made curly noodles by hand. This one bowl of noodles spread all over Kitakata and there were soon over 100 shops in the area. 
People come from all over Japan to sample Kitakata ramen. The reason is one man. Tomiyama worked in the tourism office at Kitakata City Hall. In 1983, he was looking for a way to bring in more visitors to the area. Tomiyama's eye was caught by the local ramen. With approval from City Hall and the mayor, he purchased a full page in a travel magazine. He wrote a feature article himself, the first to link Kitakata with ramen in the public mind. Annual visitors had been around 50,000, but after the article, they jumped to over four times that. Tomiyama united former rival shops, forming the Kitakata Ramen Association in 1987. And as a guide to local ramen shops, he also produced this hand-drawn map. Available for free at stations and shops, the 60,000 copies of the first edition quickly ran out. To this day, 36 years later, it's kept up to date. This family is here from Gumma. This man is from Ibaraki. In 2022, visitor numbers topped 1.2 million. Seventy kilometers south of Fukushima city lies the city of Shirakawa. Population around 60,000. But this small town is home to over 100 ramen shops. At this long-standing shop founded in 1969, let's find out what makes ramen here so good. This customer came from Ibaraki. This family came from Saitama. <laughs> this local has been coming since the shop was founded. <laughs> Take Kazuyuki, the second generation owner, he took over in 1982. <laughs> stock is made with pork bones and select chicken parts. Most distinctive are the homemade noodles. Noodle making begins at 4 a.m. Shirakawa ramen is made from scratch every day. To give them resilience, they are kneaded on the foot for 10 minutes. 
The dough is then further stretched with a bamboo rolling pin. Keeping it from getting too dry requires both care and agility. All that effort results in just 60 portions. Repeating this three times, the noodles are then left to rest for three days. And they are finally ready. Shirakawa Ramen was the creation of his father, Tonaji. His son, Kazuyuki, also had many apprentices of his own, ensuring the legacy of his father's handmade noodles. Having trained under Kazuyuki, 30 years ago, Watanabe Noboru opened his own shop. <笑>親方の教え方っていうのが白川のラーメン屋さんに結構浸透してるからいや本当何でも教えてくれるんですどうせ手切れがあって幸いは言うんですけどだからみんなこだわって麺の打ち方をいろいろ工夫してるのは白